Ampere's law and Gauss law. If you enclose a magnet, the hash of field lines entering is equal to the hash of lines leaving. Thus Gauss law sets it equal to zero unlike the case for an electric field. Is there a way other than the Biot-Savart law to evaluate the magnetic field of a current carrying element? Yes. Much like Gauss law, there is a way to determine the magnetic field of a current carrying element in a situation involving symmetry. The only thing that has to change is the path of integration and what you are enclosing. Ampere's law. When using Gauss law we used the flux, which had the electric, field, E, and the area, A, parallel. This also enclosed the charge. What two variables are parallel in this case and what are we enclosing? The magnetic field, B, and the actual path length, L, that the magnetic field travels around the wire are parallel. It is the wire's current which is enclosed. The magnetic field and the path of the field are both directly related to the current. Ampere's law. When we sum all of the current carrying elements around the path of a circle we get the circle's circumference. dL. B. Once again we see we get the equation for the magnetic field around a long straight wire. I. Example. A long straight wire of radius R carries a current I that is uniformly distributed over the circular cross section of the wire. Find the magnetic field both outside the wire and inside the wire. Let's look at the outside field, rho greater than R. I. Re. Rho. R. Example. A long straight wire of radius R carries a current I that is uniformly distributed over the circular cross section of the wire. Find the magnetic field both outside the wire and inside the wire. Let's look at the inside field, Re less than R. We first need to identify exactly what is the enclosed current. It isn't I, but rather a fraction of I. I. Since the current is distributed throughout the cross section we can set up a ratio of the current as it relates to the cross sectional area. Re. Rho. R. Example how could the magnetic field be graphically displayed? I re re. Rho. Rho. R. Applications of Ampere's law, a solenoid. A solenoid is basically a bunch of loops of wire that are tightly wound. It is analogous to a capacitor which can produce a strong electric field. In this case it can produce a strong magnetic field. Solenoids are important in engineering as they can convert electromagnetic energy into linear motion. All automobiles use what is called a starter solenoid. Inside this starter is a piston which is pushed out after receiving a small amount of current from the car's battery. This piston then completes a circuit between the car's battery and starter motor allowing the car to operate. Applications of Ampere's Law, a solenoid The first thing you must understand is what is the enclosed current. It is basically the current, I, times the hash of turns you enclose, N. When you integrate all of the small current elements they add up to the length of the solenoid, L. It is important to understand that when you enclose a certain amount of turns that the magnetic field runs through the center of the solenoid, as a result the field lines and the length of the solenoid are parallel. This is a requirement for Ampere's law.